Elon Musk may be an intelligent innovator, but he is also something of a troublemaker. The CEO of SpaceX and Tesla has gotten into numerous altercations with the government and other firms that have often ended up in lawsuits. His vision for the future makes him determined to succeed, and apparently he will not tolerate it when things don't go his way. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and I'll personally respond to your comment. Now, let's get right into today's video. SpaceX sued the US government in 2019 over a federal contract that they never received. SpaceX was protesting a $2 billion award given by the US Air Force to Blue Origin, United Launch Alliance, and Northrop Grumman in October of that year to produce new rockets for the Air Force. The awards were given out as part of a highly needed Air Force Launch Service Agreement program that aimed to produce new American-made rockets capable of launching military satellites into orbit. The Air Force have relied on the United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket, which is powered by a Russian RD-180 engine. But after Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, the Pentagon has been working hard to reduce its dependence on Russian rocket technology for national security missions. The Air Force awarded United Launch Alliance $967 million in October 2018 to enable the company to produce the Vulcan rocket, and Northrop Grumman received more than $791 million for the Omega rocket. Blue Origin was awarded $500 million to aid in the creation of the new Glenn rocket. Surprisingly, SpaceX's next-generation spacecraft, Starship, as well as its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets were not included. The money from the LSA program was only intended to speed up rocket development. It was not in any way a guarantee that these three companies will be able to launch national security payloads in the future. The Air Force would also eventually choose two companies to launch all national security contracts awarded between fiscal years 2020 and 2024, including missions that will launch until 2027. The Air Force issued a final request for proposals from rocket companies to bid for this program in early May and announced that both LSA awardees are eligible to apply, as is SpaceX, which is already accredited to launch national security payloads. Eight months later, SpaceX decided to oppose the LSA awards, claiming that it deserves a reasonable chance in the program's next step. When they spoke about the protest, a SpaceX spokesperson said, SpaceX respectfully disagrees with the Air Force's LSA award decision. While we support the Air Force's current Phase 2 procurement policy for national security space launches, we are officially questioning the Air Force's LSA decision to ensure a level playing field for competition. According to a report from the Pentagon's Inspector General, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk had earlier admitted that his company's LSA plan missed the mark. Initially, SpaceX demanded that its latest case be sealed, claiming that it includes confidential and proprietary information as well as source collection information that is not suitable for public release. However, on Wednesday, a censored version of the complaint was made public, in which SpaceX claims that the Air Force wrongfully allocated LSAs to a portfolio of three unproven rockets based on unstated metrics, unfair treatment for the procurement requirements, and opaque industrial planning. Also, SpaceX claimed that the Air Force grossly underestimated the cost of ULA's rockets. SpaceX's lawyers also pointed out that Blue Origin and Northrop Grumman are also producing components for ULA's Vulcan rocket system and argued that awarding contracts to all three strengthens ULA's already strong market position. Blue Origin and United Launch Services, a subsidiary of ULA, decided to contend in their motions to the United States Court of Federal Claims that they should be able to intervene to protect their rights and interests as awardees. Blue Origin argued that SpaceX has questioned the government's contract under the LSA transaction, and that SpaceX's protests could jeopardize Blue Origin's chances in the program's second phase. Blue Origin also raised concerns about the forthcoming Air Force auction, suggesting that the military should wait until 2021 to make its final two choices. They claimed that choosing winners at that point would give SpaceX and ULA an advantage as the current national security launch providers, and that more than two companies should be selected in the end. The Air Force's rush to choose two providers to split 60-40 contracts for up to 25 launches between 2022 and 2026, according to Blue Origin, would stifle competition and offer an unfair advantage to United Launch Alliance and SpaceX, which at that point launched nearly all of the United States national security satellites. We agree with the Air Force on Phase 2 timing. Blue Origin Vice President of Government Sales and Policy, Brett Alexander, confided in Space News. The Air Force agreed to send Blue Origin up to $500 million between 2019 and 2024, 
under the LSA award to help offset the costs of having the reusable New Glenn heavy lift rocket and its facilities ready to support military missions. However, if Blue Origin was not one of the two firms chosen by the Air Force to break potentially billion dollar LSP launch contracts, the funding will be terminated. Blue Origin had already invested $2.5 billion in New Glenn's growth, including the construction of factories in Florida and Alabama, according to Alexander. But the LSA funds are needed for infrastructure investments unique to national security missions. We're working on a commercial heavy lift vehicle, Alexander announced. He said the company would not construct a New Glenn vertical integration facility without LSA support, which is needed for carrying out certain military payloads, including satellites with huge, fragile mirrors. All of these protests were in response to SpaceX's lawsuit that the LSA funding decision would be reviewed. SpaceX would have to cover the expenses of rockets it would build for the Air Force without LSA funding. According to SpaceX, that had resulted in financial losses as well as irreparable damage because not becoming an LSA recipient meant that SpaceX would not have direct access to the Air Force's design preferences and technical specifications for the Phase 2 competition. Eventually, SpaceX's protest of the United States rocket development contracts that were awarded to three rivals in 2018 was rejected by a judge in the district court. Judge Otis D. Wright II of the United States Court of Appeals, SpaceX, its competitors, and the government all signed off on the court's sealed ruling that SpaceX's protests lacked merit, according to a two-page filing released October 2nd by the Central District of California. The judge ruled against SpaceX on September 24th, concluding that the Air Force's actions were not arbitrary, capricious, or in breach of the statute, and that SpaceX was not entitled to any relief in this action, according to the joint response filing signed by all involved parties. Interestingly, the ruling came months after the Air Force had selected ULA and SpaceX to remain its launch providers. In the four-way rivalry known as the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 Launch Service Procurement, the companies defeated Blue Origin and Northrop Grumman. According to the Pentagon, United Launch Alliance was awarded a $337 million contract for two Phase 2 missions on August 7th, and SpaceX was awarded a $316 million contract for one Phase 2 mission in fiscal 2022. The fiscal year of the United States of America starts on October 1st, and the contracts will run from then until 2027. SpaceX's win was ironically set into motion in 2014 after yet another lawsuit. In April 2014, SpaceX filed a different lawsuit against the US government, chastising the United States Air Force for awarding billions of dollars to a single corporation for national security launches, and they also claimed that contracts violated Russian sanctions in a way. The United Launch Alliance, a joint venture between aerospace giants Boeing and Lockheed Martin, spent billions of dollars per year launching government satellites for the US military. The Atlas V and Delta IV rockets are powered by Russian engines, which has some lawmakers concerned that such dependence is risky at a time when tensions over Ukraine are rising. That's not right, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk told reporters, referring to the Air Force's Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle EELV program's strategy of uncompleted procurement. SpaceX has agreed to file a lawsuit to challenge the Air Force's EELV block purchase, Musk said. At a press conference, Musk said that the mechanism essentially prevents companies like SpaceX from bidding for national security launches. He went on to say that the lawsuit had been brought to federal court. ULA rockets, according to Musk, are four times the price of SpaceX rockets. To add insult to injury, the primary engine is manufactured in Russia, Musk said. That's who got SpaceX into the military's payroll, so it can be counted as a risk that paid off. Let us know what you think about this whole situation in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there.